Hi, this is Tracy H. Dean. I want to thank you for joining me today for our July 2018 tarot reading. And this will be for the sign of Leo. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message they need to share with my viewers, the highest good of all. And at the beginning of the month, we'll take a card from the top. Middle of the month, we're going to take a card from the center. And the end of the month, we're going to take a card from the bottom. Okay, so what do we have here? Well, we start out the month with the Two of Wands. We have this man gazing into the future. He's looking upward and onward, okay, with these two wands. And it looks like there's a, a, a city beyond this water here that's in the background. And when I look at this, this Two of Wands, the first thing I'm thinking is, is it's, it's going to be, how could I say it? What I'm getting from Spirit with this Two of Wands is that you're looking into the future, okay? You're looking beyond whatever your current situation is, okay? And what you want to do is you want to make sure that what you're dreaming of or thinking of is logical, okay? Because a lot of times we may have our head in the clouds, okay? But with this Two of Wands here, what I'm getting is, is that basically you're ready to focus on the future, okay? You're focusing on going forward. You're ready to maybe put some effort into starting a project. You may be looking at maybe starting a business, okay? You might even be collaborating with someone, but you're dreaming of moving forward, okay? You're wanting to focus on the future, okay? You're not thinking about the past. And this is a very positive sign that if you were thinking about getting a project off the ground, this would be the time to do it. Because then in the middle of the month, we have the Princess of Cups, which is also known as the Page of Cups. In this deck, it's referred to as the Princess. This is the Spiral Tarot. And the, the pages usually bring messages to us. And in the very middle of the month, expect to get a very happy, emotional type of message. Maybe you're going to get word of an engagement. Uh, maybe you're going to get a uh, word of a marriage. Maybe this could be you um, getting married or hearing that someone in your family or circle of friends is getting married. Or you might even be aware of maybe uh, news about a birth. Okay, but in the middle of the month, it's going to be a very happy message that you're going to get. And it's going to have emotional uh, feel to it. And then at the end of the month, it's asking you to take a leap of faith, okay? Something very adventurous, something that maybe um, you didn't believe would happen is possible, okay? It's the beginning of something at the end of the month, some type of an unexpected opportunity, okay, that's going to come your way. And you need to take a leap of faith and believe in this opportunity, Okay, something's going to, you know, possibly unexpectedly fall in your lap when you least suspect it. That's usually how things happen. When you're not expecting it, it you know, that's when it happens. Um, and this is telling you to have faith at the end of the month and, and, and believe, okay, that whatever it is, okay, this unexpected opportunity, go for it. Go for it. Don't doubt yourself. Don't deny yourself this opportunity. Because sometimes these opportunities are once in a lifetime, but it will suddenly appear as if it, out of nowhere, this opportunity, it's going to come out of the blue, seemingly out of the blue. And you might have to make a major choice at the end of the month, but go for it. Take that leap of faith, because as we know, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Okay, so don't worry that if things don't work out, focus on what if they do. And, you know, we always learn. Even if things don't work out, we always learn the lesson that it taught us. So either way, we win. What a beautiful, beautiful reading. If you've enjoyed this reading, please subscribe to my channel because I will be back.